Hi, this is Ryan Hughes with the Pix4D training team. In this tutorial video, we will discuss how to record single point measurements using a known coordinate reference system with Pix4D Catch paired with an RTK device. To record single point measurements, you need to connect Pix4D Catch to your RTK device and have it properly mounted according to the specifications of your device to obtain centimeter level precision. Once your RTK device is properly mounted and paired with Pix4D Catch, open the Tools menu on the main interface by tapping the icon next to the Capture button. To create a new point collection, tap Point Management. Create a new point collection by tapping New Collection at the bottom of the screen. Once the point collection is created, you can access it and add additional points at any time. Enter an easy to remember name for the point collection. Select the desired horizontal and vertical coordinate reference systems. These coordinate reference systems will be what the point is recorded in, so it should correspond to the requirements of the project. You can select the appropriate geoid model if available for your region. Now that the point collection is created, we can measure our points. To measure a point, tap New Point. The name will be automatically generated but can be changed if desired. When measuring a point, it is important to accurately enter the height of the antenna. This height is the distance between the base of the RTK antenna and the surveying pole's point. Entering the correct height will directly impact the precision of your measurement, particularly on the z-axis. Please consult the Pix40 technical support knowledge base for your RTK device to determine the location of the antenna. Taking a reference photo of the point is recommended to keep track of which point you are measuring. This will allow you to quickly see which point you measured. This image will not be used to generate the reconstructions. You can also add a description of the point if desired. The measurement duration is how long the RTK device needs to be held in place to obtain the measurement. The longer the measurement duration, the more precise the measurement. Although you can decrease this value as low as 5 seconds, we recommend 30 seconds to ensure that the precision of the point is sufficient for most projects. You can also enter a custom duration. Once we have set the appropriate settings and added a reference image, place the tip of the surveying pole on the point and tap Measure to begin. Depending on your RTK device, there are two ways to measure a single point in Pix40 Catch. For RTK devices attached directly to the mobile device, while measuring a point, the screen of your mobile device will change to a spirit level. This allows you to level the device before beginning the counter. Ensure that you have RTK fixed with sufficient values before tapping Start Measuring. Once you have started measuring the point, a timer will appear alongside the spirit level. You can change the timer to suit your needs, but it is best to use at least 30 seconds. The spirit level on the right helps you to keep the device steady and upright. If the bubble is green, the device is recording. If the bubble goes red, you need to recenter the device and the recording is paused until you do so. For RTK devices attached directly to the surveying pole, there is no spirit level displayed in Pix40 Catch. Instead, you need to use the spirit level integrated into the surveying pole to ensure the RTK device is level. You can attach your mobile device to the pole or hold it during the measurement. Once the RTK device is level, tap Measure to measure the point according to the chosen measurement duration. Regardless of which method is used, keep an eye on the quality of your RTK connection on your mobile device. A degradation of the RTK connection will directly impact the quality of the measurement. Once one or more points are recorded in the same point collection, they will be displayed in sequential order. For each point, you can see the horizontal and vertical accuracy of the measurement as well as the points easting, northing, and elevation. You can toggle between the list and map view if you prefer to see the points on the map. At the bottom of the interface, you can also see the coordinate reference system of the point collection. If you want to measure more points, tap New Point. The export icon is located at the top of the interface. Tap this icon to export the points locally. 
The exported zip file will include the JSON files of the point collection, as well as a list of points in CSV format that can be imported directly into Pix40 Catch, Pix40 Cloud, or Pix40 Matic. After you have recorded all of your single points in the field, you can export the points directly from the device for processing in Pix40 Matic. Alternatively, you can link the points with the project for processing in Pix40 Cloud. We hope this tutorial video demonstrating how to obtain single point measurements was helpful. See you in the next one.